All right, so ever since the uh, Steam Piston update has come out, I've been eager to actually use it on something. Um, this is actually one of the first boats that I've actually modified this far. Um, so this was already created by somebody else as a Steam tugboat, but obviously it didn't actually run on Steam. Um, they just made it look like it did. Uh, so I'm going to give credit to, obviously, for creating the vast majority, except for the uh, engine side of things, to this gentleman here who actually built this boat. Uh, um, you can find his page here for the original version. Um, but it actually was powered by an, what looked like it had, it had a boiler, but it was actually an engine inside. And um, the steam engine part was just for show, obviously, since there was no steam pistons at the time. Um, so I have heavily modified this. Uh, I'll show downstairs here. We got fired up. I've already loaded up with coal. You can pull the coal from over here. Um, I've changed this area a bit. These are all coal ducts full of coal. Uh, all these gauges here. I do have to. I, there are some slight changes I want to make to this eventually, uh, such as adding a power generator on here. I originally had one, but it didn't work out. Uh, so this is just the uh, firebox and boiler. Now you have to always continue to continually shovel, shovel coal into there. When we come back here, we actually have the two medium-sized steam pistons that I put in, um, as well as three gearboxes because the RPS on these is very low, but they're very high torque. So these are both set to one, one to one at when they're off, but they go on to three to one, but I have them reversed, so it's actually one to three when they're on. And then this one is just for reversing, going to one to negative one. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these both on. So we're both in the three to one or one to three range. Um, yeah, so there, there are some. I made it so so this hatch is supposed to open. I can't get it to work for some reason. I might have broken something when I've been editing it. Um, that you could lull, like load coal into this hopper here, but uh, it doesn't seem to work. At least I'm not, I'm not sure if there's a way to actually load uh, coal in there with the hopper, but it doesn't matter because I can't get this door, door to open, the hatch to open. But, I mean, it's 150 pieces of coal in these ducts. I think it's plenty. I probably could actually expand this into the rest of the space here. Um, but yeah, so we're just getting up the temperature. As you can see, we're building pressure now. I have two pressure regulators. There's one here that actually cuts off the fluid exchange between the boiler and the firebox. Um, and then there's another that vents from here. Now, I originally wanted to make this go all the way up here with the whistles, but uh, for some reason there's like a bug where the pipes disconnect, no matter how you support them when they're that tall, so it didn't work out. I have an extra boiler gauge here. Um, I gotta see if this knots gauge is gonna work, because it wasn't working before, and I added the linear speed sensor, so we'll find out. And a monitor for the coal level. We have a reverse switch, uh, both whistles. <coughs> and then these are all the standard controls that were already here before and throttle level. So uh, the better, the higher the uh, pressure, the better. As you can see, it's venting off now to maintain at eight. Uh, the boiler bursts at 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and go full throttle here. And you'll notice it's a little skippy right off the get-go. And what you have to do basically is throttle down just so it, the uh, actual, uh, pistons there can kind of gain a little moment momentum to be a little bit more steady. So I just let them like coast out a little bit and then I add a little bit more pressure and see they're getting more steady as they go. And now I can just go and throttle up a little bit. Looks like we're good. That is something I wish they like could fix easier, but actually slower full throttle. Notice that before. But yeah, we're maintaining good pressure. This has been a headache to figure out, but I'm glad that it's finally done. Um, see, this doesn't actually open at all, so I gotta maybe talk to the original uh, person that built this boat and figure it out. The other thing is, there's no way to like. I'm not sure if Stormworks if there's a way to load fresh water in the game. I'm kind of new to it. So I have, like, these were supposed to be for refilling the ship with diesel. I've just basically disabled them because there's no diesel.
diesel tanks. We have now, uh, fire's getting low there. Let's get a, keep watching it and make sure you put coal in here. Um, I might add another du a piece of a duct on here just so it has like extra capacity. I originally tried the large boiler, but it just burned too much coal. Just too much. But, um, and this works fine. I might try a version eventually where it's uh, the smaller pistons, like four of them, but just, I like the, I like the large, the medium size uh, pistons. It just reminds me of more of a typical steam engine. Um, so yeah, plenty of water. We have these three tanks. Um, and obviously, we started with 150 ish, you know, we're only down 139. I haven't really tested its range at all. Uh, this is for actual first maiden voyage. <laughs> it's been it's been a it's been a bit of a, of a headache getting it working and everything, but uh, yeah, I'm happy that it finally works. And the air in intakes are actually I only hooked up one of these, but I probably hooked up another at some point. I forgot to mention that, but I actually used those for the air intakes. There are stuff things some things I do gotta get fixed besides those. Uh, there's hatches too, and that's the uh, fire pump here. Uh, I gotta put a different pump on there because I, I, I changed the uh, front here, underneath here. It's all different than it originally was, so the original pump is not there. Uh, that's something I'm gonna have to fix eventually, but yeah. The steam tugboat, is the actual steam tugboat using the new steam pistons, it's finally working. They add sound effects to the, to the steam pistons because that sounds so cool, especially that differs on the size and the RPM and the actual steam pressure. That'd be really cool. And hopefully they'll fix that uh, pipe support issue so I can uh, bring those pipes all up against the power and go all the way up so they're up there instead. You can enjoy the sound of the whistles. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for watching.